Good day, welcome to the Blue Pea Channel. Join me making Burmese or Miami super salads today. The Miami's cuisine offers many healthy and delicately flavored dishes. Its national noodle dish mohinga is delicately spiced and enjoyed with colorful condiments. This is an open air market in Yangon. The chao tea shoots are commonly sold. They're rich in vitamin B5, B6, C, copper, etc. Look, I saw this bull dance in the relaxing marketplace. for the vendors. In the wet market back home, I've seen chayote shoots being sold in recent years due to the demand of migrants. The seller repeatedly told me that the shoots help to lower cholesterol. Some women asked me how to cook them. Let's start making a wholesome vegan chayote shoot salad. First, pull out the outer fibers like this and wash the leaves very well. Don't cut up the leaves yet, soak them whole. The stems and tendrils are eaten as well. The fresh parts tend to break off easily so you can cook them. Discard those parts that you can break off. Break up the tendrils into smaller pieces. Wash them with the stems as well. These are fresh young leaves which are light green, soft and look moist. They take a shorter time to cook. Wash all the vegetables. I've separated the leaves from the stems and tendrils. I'll first blend the non-spicy green chilies, which are optional. They are rich in vitamin B6, A, iron and copper. I heat up a dry iron wok, which I find very easy to clean, and then fry 2 tablespoons of chickpea flour. Stir the flour constantly so that it doesn't get burnt. After it has turned light brown like this, stir for 2 minutes and stop the heat. This plant protein is available at South Asian dry food stores. Next, I'll crush some toasted peanuts after removing their skin. Nuts boost fragrance and texture. Next, chop up two cloves of garlic. Then slice eight cloves of shallots. I'm making more. In a nicely warmed up pan with ample oil, stir the shallots and garlic quickly and constantly until they turn golden brown. Ooh, the oil is so fragrant. It's going to make the salad very tempting. Once the garlic and shallots have turned golden brown, slide them onto a plate lined with kitchen towel to absorb the oil. Air them. Next, slice the onions and tomatoes and chop up the herbs that you like. Squeeze fresh limes to get 3 tablespoons of lime juice. I'm adding 2 teaspoonfuls of soy sauce and fish sauce each. Use the amount that you like. And if you don't have kaffir limes, use tamarind solution or lemon. Season with half or 1 teaspoon of salt. Flavor with the fragrant oil that's used to fry the garlic and shallots. That's 20 milliliters. Add blended green chilies if you like. Mix very well. Drain the water from the washed shoots. Next, if you like, chop up cilantro, Thai basil, or mint. Not many around me know about the nutritious chayote plant. Like the fruit, the shoots have many health benefits. First, throw one teaspoonful of salt into the boiling water. In cooking the leaves, I divide the leaves into three batches and boil each batch for four minutes with the pan or wok covered. The stems and tendrils form another batch and I boil them for five minutes. After boiling, throw them immediately into cold water and squeeze the water out of them. Cut them roughly into four centimeter pieces. Put all the cut and sliced vegetables into a mixing bowl. I've earlier boiled the shoots until they're soft and immediately threw them into cold water to stop the cooking and retain a nice green color. Add the dressing. Mix well with a fork and spoon or with your hands. Add some golden brown garlic, shallots and if you like, 1 to 2 tablespoons of chickpea flour. These condiments add texture to the soft chayote shoots. Add some crushed nuts as well. Then mix very well. Leave aside for 10 to 15 minutes before serving to let the flavors seep in. Finally, garnish with garlic, shallots and nuts. Next, the non-vegan version with chicken. 
add shredded chicken, you may use leftover chicken from a feast. This salad is both easy and versatile. Flavor it with a suitable amount of chickpea flour. Flour is gluten-free clean protein. I mix in two tablespoonfuls. Mix and adjust the taste with dressing and seasoning. Again, leave aside for 10 to 15 minutes before serving to let the flavor seep in. Garnish it beautifully. The super salad is ready. You love its flavors and textures. Sakaobaji, itadakimasu. These shoes do wonders to my colon health, but I can't show you the evidence. Enjoy the salads. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.